Staining is a technique which is used to increase contrast in samples generally at the microscopic level. We use different types of stains in the staining. So a stain is a molecule that can bind to cellular components and give it color. The stains on the basis of their pH can be divided into two types acidic stains and basic stains. When looking at the acidic stains, then they are anionic in nature and got bind with positively charged cellular materials. Examples are eosin and picric acid. Whereas basic stains are cationic in nature and got attracted to negatively charged cellular components. Examples are methylene blue, crystal violet, saffronin, malachite green, etc. Staining can be further divided into three types. The simple staining, differential staining, and special staining. In the simple staining, we use a single dye which reveals basic cell shapes and cell arrangements. In the special staining, we differentiate between two different kinds of organisms by using different kinds of stains. Special staining can be of two types. Flagellar staining and Schaefer Fulton spore staining. Flagella appears as dark lines of silver or red with carbon fusion, which indicates the presence of flagella by building up layers of stain on their surface. In the Schaefer Fulton spore staining, in the spore retain malachite green stain whereas vegetative cell except saffron and counter stain and appear red. The differential staining can be broadly classified into two types, the famous gram staining and acid fast staining. In the gram staining, gram positive bacteria are those having thick layer of peptidoglycan while the gram negative bacteria are having thin layer of peptidoglycan which is the basis of gram staining. On the basis of gram bacteria, it can be classified into two types, gram negative bacteria and gram positive bacteria. For conducting the test of gram positive bacteria, bacterial smears are taken on the slide and crystal violet is added. Due to crystal violet, the smears will appear violet color. On addition of iodine mordant, iodine will act as a mordant and will help in binding the crystal violet dye to the cellular components. After that, the slide will be washed with alcohol. Gram positive bacteria will retain the crystal violet dye after washing with alcohol and appears as violet in color. After that, we will add saffronin to the bacterial smear then to you violet color will be persistent this will indicate the positive results for gram positive bacteria while in gram negative bacteria again we will take the bacterial smear and we will add 
crystal violet to the bacterial smear. Crystal violet will bind with the cellular components and give violet color to the bacterial smear. Then iodine mordant will be added and it will function same as it did in gram positive bacteria. It will help in binding the crystal violet dye with the cellular components. Then the slide will be washed with alcohol in the gram negative bacteria the crystal violet dye will be removed by the alcohol and violet color will be disappeared on addition of saffron into the gram negative bacterial smear the bacterial smear will produce pink color which indicates the presence of gram negative bacteria the last type of staining is zeal nilsen acid fast staining it is used for the detection of tuberculosis in leprosy causing organisms the slides are covered with carbon fusion and are heated and then rinsed with 3% 95% ethanol. It is rinsed again and the positive results are seen by bright color.